world of constant change and accelerating development. Which major trends will influence how the world looks in 2020? DNV has summarized what some of the leading trends analysts say. 2020 arrives with 7.5 billion people on the planet. Migration continues to increase, but there is a shift from a south-north to a south-south migration pattern. Labour forces in most developed countries have aged and declined. But China is also greying, with 400 million people over 65 years old. The world's population growth has been mainly concentrated in the poorest, youngest and least developed countries. The majority of the world's population lives in cities. Economic power shifts from the West to Asia. Trade between developing countries develops faster than world trade. Economic output from the BRIC countries, Brazil, Russia, India and China, constitutes 50% of G7 output, and India's GDP exceeds that of France. The world's middle class population has doubled to 3.2 billion people, and Asia's share has risen from 25 to 50%. The world might be lacking effective and inclusive governance on global issues. Without this, economic crises, climate change, energy, water and security are sources of increasing risk. National governments have less power over the economy, but we are seeing more protectionist measures. Social media-powered democracy favours ad hoc mobilisation and promotes short-term and reactive governance. Processing performance continues to double every two years, enabling new technological solutions. One terabyte of storage space now only costs 50 cents. Mobile phones have the power of PCs. Digital control systems are found everywhere, with increased IT vulnerability as a consequence. Global temperatures are rising to new records. Global greenhouse gas emissions have risen by 20% since 2010, mainly originating from the largest developing countries, China, India and Brazil. The Arctic Sea is almost free of summer ice. The 15 centimeter sea level rise is directly affecting 50 million people. Extreme weather events occur more frequently and with more impact. Climate change is the biggest global health threat of the 21st century. Vector-borne diseases such as malaria and yellow fever expand their reach and death tolls. However, the indirect effects of climate change on water, food security and extreme climatic events have the biggest impact on global health. Efforts to mitigate the effects of climate change will have immediate beneficial health effects such as reduction in chronic diseases that could substantially offset mitigation cost. Healthcare expenditure is increasing rapidly. The need to reduce healthcare cost and the demand to treat more patients is enforcing new ways to manage healthcare. The increasing resistance to existing antibiotics and the lack of new antibiotics cause a pandemic of resistant pathogens and untreatable infectious diseases. 
The pandemic of obesity among adults and children has become a major public health concern. Obesity-related chronic illnesses, such as cardiovascular diseases and diabetes, impose a burden of significant cost on healthcare systems. Non-communicable diseases are a threat to development. 80% of all deaths are caused by non-communicable diseases, up from 63% in 2010. The number of patients travelling across national borders in order to obtain healthcare services increases dramatically. Popular destinations include India, Cuba, Singapore, Mexico, Costa Rica and Thailand. The shortage of healthcare workers on a global scale climbs to 4 million. 15% of the healthcare requirements of the EU population are not met. 